Hello, crypto boys and ghouls, and welcome back to the channel, Tales from the Cryptmancer, where we feature content on play to earn games on the blockchain, such as Splinterlands. And today we have some exciting news being announced in Splinterlands Discord and being discussed in the Mav chat. We're talking about undisclosed Splinterland project reveal happening this coming Monday. And it's got Matt excited. It's got everyone excited. What could this be? It's coming out of left field. I've got some speculation. I've got some ideas. Let's talk about it. Let's first go into the specific announcement details that we are aware of. We'll talk about some of the mentions on recent town halls. That leads me to a specific conclusion. And let's then speculate on what this could all mean for Splinterlands come Monday and how this could be a game changer. So here is the announcement that was just uh, published at 9.40 a.m. Eastern here on Friday, September 9th. It comes from Matt himself. And I got to tell you, when Matt is hyped, oh my goodness, I am super hyped because Matt is not one to get easily excited. So what Matt says is, I just wanted to get everyone a heads up that I am planning to be on the town hall again this coming Monday, September 12th, specifically to share yet another exciting announcement with all of you. This announcement is about a really unique new thing that we are planning to add into Splinterlands. And it's one that I'm personally very excited about as a player and NFT collector, as well as the fact that it is structured in a way that we hope will bring a significant amount of attention and new players into Splinterlands from the wider NFT and crypto space. Don't worry, though. Our existing players will have first dibs plus the opportunity for significant discounts using vouchers. Wow, that's, uh, that's a pretty big announcement right there. The pre-announcement. And then we have Chatter pitching in here. Uh, Matt was asking specifically to share this one as he has been leading this project himself. Couldn't be more stoked about it. The coolest release I've seen from any Web3 project in a long time. It's going to blow everyone out of the water. That's, uh, that's good news coming from Chatter. Then we have Aggie, the chief FOMO officer coming in. Um, Matt's hinting at it, and the pre-sale page is expected to go live next week. So that means three new things are hitting in the next two weeks, and Genesis League is happening next month. Rift Watchers, you'll want SPS and vouchers. Tower Defense, you'll want DEC and vouchers. New thing, you'll want question mark, redacted, and vouchers. The way to earn vouchers is to stake SPS or buy nodes uh, by burning SPS and vouchers. When all of these things are in place, there literally won't be enough vouchers in the world for you to buy all the nodes, tower defense packs, riff watcher packs, and new things with the full discount. And then, well, Aggie goes into uh, Chief FOMO Officer and gives us a little bit of color about uh, what this means, push and shove. Uh, and then we have uh, Aggie talking a little bit earlier, um, undisclosed one isn't something that he personally collects a ton of, but people do go nuts for them. So we'll see and hopefully helps bring a lot of new people into Splinterlands. So what are we talking about? Let's speculate here. Let's have a little fun. I have no inside information. I have no knowledge of what's actually going to be announced on Monday. So this could be completely off. But I do want to put out a uh, hypothesis for the community to think about. And let's see if it is something that comes true on Monday. And what I think this could be is well i think it could be splinterlands nft skins or avatars that are cross chain possibly bridged with ethereum possibly for sale um, on a platform like OpenSea as well as within splinterlands could have movable assets it could take advantage of the technology that was being worked on for the non-card marketplace within splinterlands and we know that Splinterlands has talked about, you know, finding a way to bring skins back into the game um, to take advantage of some of the awesome creative talent within Nate's team on the creative side of Splinterlands and be able to showcase some of that NFT art outside of the game uh, of Splinterlands, but also possibly also add value to players within Splinterlands. So 
what if these very sexy new NFTs um, that were being uh, sold as skins or avatars within the Splinterlands game could be used possibly to give our share or earning rewards like gold foil cards if you own them perhaps and uh, what if they could be transferred off chain for example bridging to ethereum i mean aggie and matt have remiss many times about you know the opportunity uh, that was lost by maybe not being on the ethereum chain like gala is for example with a lot of the ethereum whales out there and the uh, attention that ethereum based nfts get um, so maybe this is a technology similar to what was done with waka with wax and that uh, card nft where you could actually move it off of or outside the game of splinterlands and into um you know other chains where it could be used essentially as a traditional like a board ape uh, kind of nft so what would happen for example if we took art like we're seeing here in the splinter talk uh, marketplace art like you know this um this rendition of tarsa here um, really cool NFT artwork that really has no value other than a collectible in this NFT marketplace. What if all of a sudden these were be able to be sold and purchased with, let's say, DEC or Ethereum with voucher discounts priced at the current node tranche level in the non-card marketplace in Splinterlands, again, giving some R share benefits for earning if used in the game, but if purchased outside the game and used as traditional NFTs uh, from a social perspective, um, could that bring in a new audience of players to Splinterlands and new uh, funds and money as well? Um, this would be interesting again, because now if, for example, we're able to go on to OpenSea here and uh you know look at collections like this one i just pulled this up randomly it's digi daigaku as an example this is just nft art here for a game that doesn't even exist and look at these prices 9.9 .9 ethereum for for this nft right here that can't even be used and has no value for a game here that's coming at some point in the future the floor price for these nfts is 7.4 eth which is insane i don't even know how much that is it's probably over ten thousand us dollars uh, so what if these skins or avatars these nfts were made available in splinterlands you could bridge them out into the ethereum chain sellable on open sea voucher discounts available for purchase with dc and ethereum this would be an incredible game changer for splinterlands giving attention in this marketplace that we've never had the ability to be present in um, in open sea on ethereum and in a more of a collectible or art based social based nft uh, that also would have in-game functionality to already an established game with DeFi principles. It could be the marriage, the combination that sets this powder keg off and sends us to the moon. Could be very exciting. What do you think? Is this what might be announced uh, on Monday at the upcoming town hall? Is this this undisc undisclosed project that will hit us out of left field and just make this? Uh, basically a crazy um, introduction to Ethereum and new players, new uh, markets, and new money. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are, what you think the Undisclosed Project is, and let's wait and see on Monday with bated breath. Until next time, keep stacking those stats.